How does communication influence sexual satisfaction in a couple? What are the differences between love and desire? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Open and honest communication is essential for sexual satisfaction in a couple. It allows expressing desires, needs, and boundaries, facilitating better understanding and connection. Love and desire are two distinct components of sexual and romantic life. Love focuses on emotional connection and commitment, while desire relates to physical attraction and sexual excitement. Both are important in a relationship. Preference for long hair. Some research suggests that people often find individuals with long hair more attractive. This could be related to perceived health and fertility. Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Prevention and lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, avoiding smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption can help prevent erectile dysfunction and promote overall sexual health. Promotion of self-knowledge. The Kama Sutra is not just about sexual activity with another person, but also emphasizes the importance of self-knowledge and personal exploration as crucial elements for a fulfilling and satisfying sex life. Psychological effects. Orgasms release various chemicals in the brain, including dopamine and oxytocin, which can have powerful effects on emotions and the connection between sexual partners. Psychological therapy. In addition to pharmacological treatments, psychological therapy, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, can be effective in addressing premature ejaculation by helping to identify and modify thoughts and behaviors that contribute to the problem. Psychology behind fetishes. Psychologists and sex therapists study fetishes to better understand their impact on people's sexual lives and how they can affect interpersonal relationships. Most fetishes are believed to be harmless and can be a normal part of human sexuality. Reducing pressure. By allowing couples to seek sexual satisfaction outside the primary relationship, open relationships can reduce the pressure on a single individual to meet all their partner's needs. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Regulation and censorship. Pornography faces regulations and censorship in many countries, with laws varying widely regarding what is considered obscene material and the limits of freedom of expression. Relationship between mental health and sexuality. Mental health and sexuality are closely related, and mental health issues such as depression and anxiety can affect sexual function and emotional well-being. Relationship between sex and exercise. Sex can be a form of physical exercise, as it can burn calories, strengthen muscles, and improve cardiovascular health, although it does not replace a regular exercise regimen. Relaxation. Techniques. Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with stress-related anorgasmia. Rhythm and speed. Varying the rhythm and speed of stimulation during foreplay can increase anticipation and arousal, creating a more dynamic and exciting sexual experience. Right side and left side, some research suggests that people have preferences for the right or left side during intercourse, although the reason behind these preferences remains a mystery. Role of relaxation. Mental and physical relaxation is key to a comfortable experience. Anxiety and stress can negatively impact readiness for anal sex. Role-playing games are a common way to explore sexual fantasies. Couples can take on roles and scenarios to unleash their creativity and enhance sexual arousal. Screening tests. 
Regular STD screening tests are important, especially for sexually active individuals or those with multiple sexual partners, as many STDs can be present without obvious symptoms. Search trends. Online pornography platforms provide data on user search trends, revealing changing interests and preferences regarding genres, actors, and scenes. Self-diagnosis. While it's important to be aware of premature ejaculation symptoms, self-diagnosis may not be accurate, as it's necessary to evaluate the problem in consultation with a healthcare professional. Sense of adventure. Some women are attracted to men who are willing to explore the world and have exciting experiences. Sensual aromatherapy. Using essential oils with aphrodisiac scents, such as lavender, vanilla, or jasmine, during foreplay can stimulate the senses and increase the feeling of relaxation and well-being. Sex and aging. As people age, their sex life can continue to be satisfying. In fact, many older individuals report a more satisfying sex life compared to their youth. Sex and heart health. Regular sex can be beneficial for heart health. It has been shown that regular sexual activity reduces the risk of cardiovascular disease. Sex and longevity. Regular sexual activity has been associated with increased longevity in some studies. Intimacy and sex can have health benefits as people age. Sex and science. The science of sex, known as sexology, is a multidisciplinary field that explores human sexuality from a scientific perspective. Sexologists study a wide range of topics, from sexual anatomy to sexual therapy. Sex and dreams. Some people experience erotic dreams in which they engage in sexual acts. These dreams can be normal and reflect sexual desires or concerns. Sex in water, such as in a pool or bathtub, can be a common fantasy. However, water can remove the body's natural lubrication, leading to uncomfortable friction. Sex therapy as a resource. Sex therapy is an option for those experiencing difficulties or concerns related to their sex life. Sex therapists are trained to help individuals address a variety of sexual issues and improve their intimacy and sexual satisfaction. Sexting phenomenon. Sexting, or the exchange of sexual or erotic messages via electronic devices, is an increasingly common practice among young people although it can also pose risks to privacy and safety. Sexual disorders. Sexual disorders, such as erectile dysfunction, anorgasmia, and hypoactive sexual desire disorder, can affect a person's ability to enjoy sex and may be caused by physical, psychological, or a combination of both factors. Sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction can affect both men and women and includes problems such as erectile dysfunction, lack of sexual desire, and anorgasmia. Treatments and therapies are available to address these issues. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.